Roll sound, please. Marker! Action! This film, Payback, it's hard edge, real hard edge. This is a particularly hard-boiled genre that I don't think I've ever explored before. It's a grittier Mel than, than we've seen. He's a bit more shark-like in terms of what he wants. Keep those bags up, boys. Who the hell are you? I'm the reason you're home early, Mr. Fairfax. Bogart made a living playing this character. <laughs> Cagney made a living playing this character. <laughs> this is a traditional American anti-hero he's playing. Bravo. Sit down. This is an homage to a lot of those movies in the 70s that they really don't make too much anymore, like the Dirty Harry movies or even the Charles Bronson movies. See how nasty he is? He's a really nasty man. Man, that's just me killing my alligator bags and shooting holes in my suit. That's mean, man. Porter gets what he wants by taking it. Oh, sorry, sorry. And uh, he'll take money from anybody. And he doesn't really give a damn about consequences. <laughs> 70 grand. That's what they took from me. And that's what I was gonna get back. He's ready to do anything to get the $70,000 back, and he does anything. Oh my God, what happened to you? I got hammered. The guy's a kind of a closet human being, and he just functions to survive. I need a favor. A favor? I'm the only person he can really trust and hook up with to carry out this bit of a mission that he's on. You tell him that Porter is back and he wants his money. We keep wanting to give him $130,000. 130000 It's not a hundred. Only 70000 of it was his. Frankly, I don't understand it for $130,000. 70. 70? That's even worse. Well, my suits are worth more than that. He goes on this journey that just puts him in contact with all these weird, crazy characters who are all trying to scam him or get something from him. I play Pearl, and she's, um, she's a very intense character. She doesn't take anything from anyone. Shut up! And it's actually kind of a love-hate relationship going on between Pearl and Porter. I've got a few minutes. So go boil an egg. I just think Mal is brilliant the way he can deadpan it uh, with some of these crazy characters. Are you Stegman? Maybe. Stegman doesn't quite realize at first what he's up against. I am gonna turn you into the outfit for a reward. <laughs> the look of the picture, it's kinda got that vegas -y, mafia style. It's got uh, sort of odes to the 70s. It also has a wonderful sort of world of its own look in terms of fashion in terms of period in terms of all those things they're a little off you're not quite sure where everything lands you know faded out colors and the contrasts will be harder so it's going to give it a, a, a hard edge look it's really like something that you've never seen before and probably so many people say that about their movies but it is what are you guys looking at play your game and you're bleeding all over my couch come on you it's a lot of fun to play these kinds of characters. They really live and breathe and just sort of leap off the screen at you. My money, yes or no? No. You signed your own death warrant for $130,000. Oh, no, $70,000. Yeah, whatever. It's kind of unrelenting. Everything working out? Oh, yeah. That doesn't really let anybody off the hook. This time he stays dead. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Stop it, I'm getting misty. Careful, boy, he might bite you back.